I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. Yeah, I got colors, I got heels. I feel like Jizzy, I got views. I use them baby like a mules. Play them like the ones and twos. Bow! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chatty Bobby. All up, buddy! And we're back with another fragrance haul for you guys and gals today. I've got about 14 pickups to show y'all today. I got two box, two packages. That's one from Fragrance Net. You know, we stay getting stuff from Fragrance Net. There's another humongous box there. And I've got three that I picked up at rack stores. One rack store is a new one that I didn't know anything about. My girl told me about. So let's get right into it, man. But before we get into it, whoa, 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 back it up. Beep, beep. Shout out to George Costanza. If y'all haven't subscribed to the channel, do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button on this video, hit that share, the bell for there's a lot of stuff I'm asking to do of you. But do your, do your boy a favor. Also follow me on Instagram since we're asking stuff. Let's get right into it, man. Y'all ready? Ooh. Now we're gonna try to get through these quick. There's so many. The first ones I'm gonna show you are just gonna be some rack store stuff. Now I went to a place today called Burke's Outlet. Um, they have them in our area. I don't know if they have them where y'all are at. It's just more or less like a like a, a TJ Maxx. And they actually had some fragrances there. They had mostly cheapy stuff. But I picked this up for $6. And I was just wanting it to be a cheap aquatic. And that's all it is. And that's Ocean Pacific. This is blue for men. This is normally, I think this goes for about $15 to $20 on Fragrance Net. They had a, some kind of deal where it was like $6.99. Um, and that's exactly what it is, man. It's just a very cheap synthetic style um, aquatic. I think it smells really good, though. It just smells like a really, you know, like run-of-the-mill aquatic. But I can I can never have enough. Uh, and this is a hundred milliliter bottle. It's like seven bucks. They've got several from Ocean Pacific. And again, this is about six, seven bucks. So it was worth a shot. And it smells really good, especially for that price. It's a good air. It'll be a good air and runner fragrance for me. So. Also, we went to TJ Maxx. Now, I was solely going to TJ Maxx to get, look for a backup bottle of Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct together. I only have the 75, or the, I don't know which one I have. I have the smaller one. But we were able to secure one there. See, it's $24.99 at TJ Maxx. This one is incredible. We're keeping this sealed. This is just solely for a backup bottle. If you go into eBay right now, this size bottle is going for $70. The small ones, the 1.7, the 50 milliliters are going for 55 bucks. You can look it up on eBay. It's crazy. Matter of fact, I'll, I may just throw a picture up here just to show you. I don't know why this is, at least the only, I mean, you can see them in rack stores all day long. They only had one of these left. I was going to try to grab a couple more, but they just had the one, but I'm glad to get that one. I needed that backup bottle because I've got the smaller bottle. So let's get right into this, another, uh, this other rack store pickup. So this next one we've got is my first one from this line. And it's from the Banana Republic line, and that is Banana Republic Classic. This one ran us, I think, $16.99. On Fragrance Net, it's like $28. And this is actually the 125 milliliter bottle. Now, I've already sprayed this. Um, we'll go ahead and read the notes real quick. You got bergamot, grapefruit, clementine, green notes, honeysuckle. So this is from 1995. This is a very fresh type of fragrance, I feel like, off the spray. Yeah, very, very good, like fresh scent. Um, great, like fresh out the shower one. It kind of reminds me of like, I don't own it, but I've smelled it. It kind of reminds me of Jimmy Choo uh, Ice. Where it kind of has, even though there's not any lemon notes in here, there's grapefruit and there's clementine. and But it kind of gives you, there's some similarities to that, I feel like. Just really fresh, yeah, really fresh, like, summer fragrance very light um smells great though man if you need one that's similar to that this is a this i mean for this size bottle for banana Republic, this is a classic one now they had another one that was in a black bo a black box i don't remember what it was called but these are like the lower end uh the modern is the other one they had but i went with this one this is like the lower end ones i guess i know some of the other banana republics are pretty expensive but i thought this one smells good and it's another one that's good to add to the collection for like a out the shower, post workout, Aaron Runner. So it's Banana Republic Classic. Now I saw multiple people post about this in the Facebook groups, so I wanted to go ahead and pick it up whenever they showed it. And this is a hundred milliliter bottle. I'm not even going to try to. I mean, I'm going to try to say this, but 
It's going to be rough. It's from Issey Miyagi, and it's Lou Dissey, poor ohm, and it's Orin Sins. Um, a mysterious oriental edu uh, the, uh, parfum combining the nobility of incense with the intensity of natural spices and rich rose essence. I heard this is very rare to get, like, and then it just randomly will pop up on Fragrance Net. The notes it's showing, you've got... Um, Additional cords of natural spice. You got rich essence of rose and wood, cedar, sandalwood, vetiver, and leather tones. So we're gonna crack this bad boy open, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna we're gonna sample it. I'm digging this uh, package in there, Issey Miyagi. Okay. In the classic Issey Miyagi humongous bottle, um, but this is a really nice, really nice package in there, Clark. Really nice. So we're gonna give it a little test here. We got the paddle here. Let's bust out the paddle and soak one of them, man. Come on with it. I think this one ran about 30-something bucks. They, you know, Issey Miyagi isn't that expensive. Look at that atomizer. It's beautiful. Very wide. Woo -hoo! Yes, sir. Okay, this is very grown and sexy vibes. Definitely cedar. Smell that spice. Incense. I totally get that. This is going to remind me of Versace Oud Noir. It's got those, that similarity. Or um, Boss Bottled Oud. That style. Whew, man, this is a beast right here, son. Very spice heavy. Um, I dig it because I dig these styles. This is going to be a great fragrance for the winter. You smell that leather as well. Definitely can smell those leather tones. I'm digging this one, man. So Issey Miyagi, man, that's Ludissi Porom. Uh, or in sins boom this one smells great and it smells it's it's exactly what it's gonna smell like you definitely have that incense vibe but I like that man that's dope because I don't have one quite like that in my collection I've got some ouds which vi it gives me vibes of like oud noir from Versace but if you're into that style pick this one up I, I heard it's hard to find so as I'm doing this video on Monday this being released on Tuesday I'm recording on Monday afternoon. It's still available on Fragrance Net. So check it out, man. So next up, we're going on the all the way to the other end of the spectrum here. We got another cheapie. This is from Nautica. That is Nautica Life Energy. I haven't picked up any of these style from uh, Nautica. So I figured I'd go ahead. This is like dirt. It's like $11 or something. So we're going to check it out here. Notes in this one is bergamot, grapefruit, ivy, sage, and cedar. I like that deal. It's got like the, that's pretty cool, like bottle. Pretty dope there, Bubba. So, definitely gonna, you can still smell that incense. It's been about five minutes since we sprayed that. Not to y'all, but to me it is. Come on. Soak it. Soak the paddle, baby. Just Nautica, you just can't lose with Nautica, man. I freaking love Nautica. Um, definitely smell that bergamot. But that it's got those those that say you can smell those spices as well. Look, Nautica knows how to make aquatic fragrances, man, that are cheap, affordable. I'm sure this isn't gonna have a great amount of lasting power, but it's gonna do the job I need it to do. It's Nautica Life Energy. Nice, another nice, you know, aquatic to add to the collection. Next up, we've got one people, multiple people have been telling me to pick up. And that's from Lacoste, and this is actually a different one than the L1212s that I normally get. It is Lacoste La Homme Intense. This is the toilet. We're gonna crack it right open here. You got root, Peter Griffin. You got rhubarb. Uh, is that Kintz? Q U I N C E. Mandarin, ginger, pepper. This is from 2018. I've heard great things about the Laom, but we went ahead and sprung for that Laom, Laom intense. I like that bottle. That's dope. Just to kind of change up the the swag here on the uh, Lacoste, so I don't just have all L1212s. Come on. Boom. This is the 100 milliliter. Let's go ahead and let it sit for a minute. Ooh, nice, man. Definitely smell that ginger. I'm guessing I'm smelling rhubarb. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't really had a lot of fragrances with that note. I'm digging this, though, man. I was expecting it to be extremely spice driven. And it's not, which I'm glad for. Um, comment below in the description box 
Um, how different this one is than the regular loan. Man, this is a this is nice, son. Look, Lacoste Laome Intense. I'm digging it, man. I'm digging it for sure. Glad I picked that one up. Um, so we're all set. So I mean, all the ones that I've got so far, I've, I've been digging, and not, most all of these are blind buys. I'm the blind buy king, apparently. But uh, you only live once, baby. Let's keep it moving. Let's get into this big ass box. Okay, so this next one, this is from this other order. I think we got eight on this one to show you. Um, my boy Brandon, one of my subscribers, a big supporter of mine, somebody that I've gotten hooked on fragrances, told me to pick this up, said it's really good, so we're going to give it a shot, and that's Yachtman Red. Now, I've got Yachtman uh, Chocolate, and it's a dirt cheap one. It's like $6. Um, and I dig Yachtman Chocolate, so we're going to try Yachtman Red out, man. I'm not expecting much. you got fruity and citrus blends of these. Um, again, these are super cheap, so we'll see what it's talking about here. Them atomizers are not no cheap atomizers, though. This is kind of, it's pretty cool. It kind of looks like a lighter. A lighter. Okay. Hey, this is different, man. I like this one. I was expecting it to be like a run-of-the-mill, smells like every other rouge type fragrance, and it doesn't. Let's, let's go ahead and spray another one. Let's go ahead and hit it again. Let's give it another shot from my boy Brandon, man. Boom. Hey, I dig this one, man. All it tells me is that it's just fruity and citrus blended notes. I mean, it's very synthetic because it's a cheap fragrance, but definitely worth six bucks, man. I like this. You can spray that in the car. Definitely one that's going to just last you not long, but I'm not mad at it at all, man. Good, good uh, choice there, Brandon. Shop Man Red. If you want to get something cheap, like I said, these are less than six bucks. So it's like a, a combo of McDonald's, man. And, um, uh, so, yeah, Yachtman Red. So, next up, what we've picked up, I've been putting it off for too long. It was time to go ahead and get it. That is Coach Platinum. Already got it open for you here. And that nice little chrome or platinum, you know, uh, set up here. Black pepper, juniper berries, pineapple, sage, patchouli. We're going to give it a shot here. Let's go, man. See how different it is. Y'all know y'all know how much I love original coach. It's in my top 20. Oh right off the Rippington, boy. This one's man. Man, man, man. Man, coach is two for two with me, bro. Love Coach New York. Coach New York Platinum is this one right here. Definitely different vibe. Um, but still in that same wheelhouse, though. I will say. I was expecting Coach Platinum to have more spice, but I'm kind of glad that it didn't, honestly, similar to what I said about the other one. This is, I mean, you still got some spice with sage and patchouli, but you got in black pepper, but that pineapple and juniper berries, bro, it mixes well with those, those spices. I'm digging this one a lot, man. Son, son. Coach Platinum, really nice, Clark. This next one. I'm starting to try to get into these, the Azaro Pour Ohm. So the first one they're going, we're going to pick up from Azaro Pour Ohm is going to be Amber Fever. I know I'm a big fan of the Amber Note. Um, you've got Clary Sage, Amber, and then the word I can't sound of it's Cacao. It's C-A-C-A-O. So let's crack her open, boy. Crack her open, son. Again, these are all just first impressions. You know, we're starting to do a lot of reviews on the channel. So I may do reviews on a lot of these individually. But we're going to crack this open, man. I'm excited about this one. I had a whole set, a bunch of these in my cart, and I switched them up to just do one at a time. Love that style bottle, too. I'm a, I'm a fan of a Zaro. I don't have a lot of stuff in them. I've got a Zaro Chrome um, Limited, I think. But let's go. Come on. I know I love Amber Oud. Let's see if it's got any kind of similarities. <laughs> oh, boy. Man, son, something about the amber note, man. I just love the way the amber note smell. Oh, it smells incredible, bro. Man, have y'all? Has anybody tried Azaro's Pour Ohm Amber Fever? This one right here, boy. Golly, man, I'm really digging it. It's maybe my it's my favorite one so far. 
Um, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of all the ones I've picked up so far, but Azaro, Poor Ohms, Amber Fever is my favorite so far. I just love that Amber note. Golly. <sighs> yes, sir. This is a winner right here, Bubba. Azaro, Poor Ohm, Amber Fever is two thumbs up off first rip. We're going to be definitely doing a review on that one. I'm going to wear that tomorrow for my sin of the day. So, another victory, man. Let's keep it going. These next two are from Hollister. And I knew nothing about these, but they were both cheap, the $20 range. This one's just a 50 milliliter, and that is Hollister Festival Vibes. Um, they're on clearance right now. Um, this has got pineapple, C-note, bay leaf, oak moss, uh, and burgers. It's from 2018. We're gonna check her out. Um, you know, I love Hollister Wave, Wave 2, Free Wave, so. I figured I'd give it a shot, man, being I'm such a Hollister fan. And it's that cool little bottle there. That's, that's dope, man. I like that. Kind of similar to like the Kenneth Cole size bottle there. This top is awkward. Twist to open. Oh, okay. So if y'all pick this up, you got to twist on it and move it and moves it down. That's different. Changing it up on you, boy. Let's go, Hollister Waves. Or Hollister Vibes, sorry. Hollister Festival. Vibes. Hey, it packs a good little punch in this little bitty body you hit me. Whew. Nice. Very, very similar to Hollister Wave 2. This almost could be a backup bottle to Hollister Wave 2, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the notes are different, but the smell is very similar. I dig it. Of course I dig it. I mean, I love that smell. I was just curious to see what it was going to be like, and it's very similar to Wave and Wave 2, which is cool with me. So that's Hollister Festival Vibes. Now the next one, it's going to have similar notes, um, and that is going to be Hollister Festival Night. Now this is the bigger bottle, and the crazy thing is on this one is that the bigger bottle was cheaper than the 50 milliliter which was weird. Um, this doesn't have the notes listed, but it's a lot of the similar notes. But they didn't have anything but the 50 milliliter on the Vibes one. So we'll give her a shot here, Bull. And this is similar. This is just a bigger size bottle for Hollister. That was already down, okay. Be that way then. Come on, Hollister, keep it going for your boy, man. Let's go. Definitely like a darker, you feel like a darker vibe to it. Still very aquatic though, which <laughs> I'm an aquatic like fanboy for sure. It smells great, man. I mean, again, it's going to be very similar to Hollister Wave and Wave 2. If you've got those two, there's you don't really have to get these. But I can look at these as like backups to my Wave and Wave 2. They're very similar. Um, this has got some, it's a little sweeter though, which is, which is fine. I'm still, I'm still hyped about that Azaro Amber. Yeah, this is a good, a, another very good aquatic. Hollister makes great fragrances, man. Again, they're not any that's going to do a whole heck of a lot as far as projection, as far as time frame for you. But if y'all are needing some more aquatics and you don't have Hollister Wave or Wave Two, try these out, man. Hollister Festival Night, Hollister Festival Vibes. I like both of them, man. Let's keep it going. We got a couple more here. Just a couple more. Let's go. We've been running through these aquatics today. And um, as hot as it is outside right now, I'm so glad I got a lot of these in today. It's good, it's good to smell and refreshing to smell those aquatics. But we're finna get super, super refined here. John Varvados, this is vintage. I've been hearing vintage is amazing. We got wormwood, basil, rhubarb, kints again, and fennel. So this may be similar to, what was that other one that had that? Was it the Issey Miyagi? It may have been. Love these bottles. This is gonna smell super, super uh, fall, I bet, fall vibes. Let's go. Let's go, son. Soak these paddles, baby. This is John Varvados Vintage, man, let's go. Come on, you can do better than that, Varvados, let's go. 
again this is going to be similar very similar to not as spicy off the first sniff yeah it's going to be along the god this smells great it's going to be along the lines of versace oud noir um boss bottled oud it's going to get it's going to have those vibes because that's the, the vintage style with the notes and everything but i think it smells really really good again i'm neat i'm glad i got some of these today because i need some more fall fragrances and winter fragrances because i have so many aquatics right now but john varvados vintage this is nice man it's not too spicy um, not too strong strong enough but not too strong very refined like I, I i'm glad i picked this up man john varvados vintage this is a nice one too boom what else we got in here we got one more let's go i forgot i picked up a sampler i got po uh, ralph lauren polo supreme cashmere now these vials on there are like anywhere from a dollar to three dollars and I want to smell this and test it out, but it's not what I want to buy a big bottle of because that's kind of an extreme one. So you got just the little small vials. This was like two bucks or something. It's totally worth me doing that than trying to go hunt it down at a rack, you know, at a department store. But um, this is going to be a cashmere type fragrance from from Ralph Lauren. So let's go. Let's just spray it on that right there. Let it marinate a little bit. Ooh, man. Ooh, buddy. Okay. Look, 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 look. We're going to need you to come here and get on a paddle, there, baby. Come, yeah, you go ahead and spray yourself on a paddle. Oh, man, son. This one is problematic, my friends. Oh, my goodness. I'm looking up the notes. Sorry. We're just doing this kind of. See, this is why. Okay. So with the coupon, it's like 75 bucks for a 125 milliliter bottle of this. The vial was like $1.50, okay? You got bergamot, cardamom, incense, orris, and cashmere, or cashmere, or cashmere, damn it. This one right here, though, I'm really liking that, man. That's my first cashmere type scent. This is gonna get added to the list for sure. This is a, but again, with this being the style fragrance that it is, it's gonna be a it's gonna be an acquired kind of taste. But Polo Supreme Cashmere, it just got added to my hit list, man. I'm gonna be doing this a lot. I think I'm, in the next, I'll try to do get a couple of these each haul from now on, just to kind of sample some stuff that I wanted to try out. But Polo Supreme Cashmere from Ralph Lauren smells great, man. Definitely can smell that bergamot, bergamot and cardamom. But it mixes with that that cashmere notes. Oh man, it's, it's still in the air too. That smells nice, son. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. We got one more. The last one is another one from Issey Miyagi. So now I have went from only one uh, Issey Miyagi fragrance to now I have three. And this is Issey Miyagi Ludissi Summer. Um, this is from 2016 Kiwi Grapefruit Coriander Pineapple Nutmeg. So. Very summer vibe fragrance haul today. Let's see what it's talking about, man. You know it's going to have that big bottle. Uh, yes, sir. Man, that's a dope bottle. That's really cool looking. This one was cheap, man. This was like less than $30. Um, so Issey Miyagi, man. My favorite rapper ever, R.I.P. Pimp C. That's all he talked about was Issey Miyagi, man. That's what made me want to buy it in the first place when I first started. That atomizer is powerful. That's so nice. Big old wide spray, baby. Oh, yeah. Very citrus heavy. Obviously with the kiwi, grapefruit, pineapple. But, man, that's nice. That's another nice one. I'm digging it, son. Wave it around. Throw it in the air for your boy. Ooh, yes, sir. This smells like summertime in a bottle for sure, man. I wanted to get... So the cool thing is that I got two completely different ends of the spectrum with Issey Miyagi today. I got Is, uh, Dissy Summer, and then I got the Dissy Incense one. Totally opposite ends of the spectrum. But a great, another great summer fragrance to add to the collection. 
That smells really good, man. Very citrus heavy. But one that I recommend, man. Just off, again, these are all first impressions. If y'all want me to do reviews of any of these, I will. I'll definitely do one on that Azaro uh, Amber Fever. Um, but, but yeah. So that's it. What was that? 14 pickups. Sorry if the video ran too long for you guys. I try to do these as quick as I can, but when there's this many, you know what I'm saying? Um, you got to kind of, kind of takes you a minute. But if y'all are still here and it's the end of the video, thank y'all so much, man. Continue to subscribe to the channel. Continue to be uh, notified. You know, hit that bell. We've got daily uploads. I'm, I'm starting to try to do d twice a day where I can do one in the morning and one around five or six in the evening um, to hit y'all with two. Okay. So if y'all would just stay tuned, man, stay on the squad. We're going to keep, keep these pumping out for you. I've got more videos on the way, list videos, countdowns, um, reviews, comment in the comment box, which I want to uh, do reviews for. And we'll keep this going, man. Thank y'all so much. I got three things left to say to you. Love, peace, and hair grease. Yeah. Yeah.